Hello and welcome to day 164 of the Orthodox Study Bible in One Year podcast. Today we'll be reading from the first book of Ezra, chapter 4, verse 43, through chapter 5, verse 45, Psalms 134, verses 1 through 12, and the Gospel according to John, chapter 20. Let us begin with the first book of Ezra, chapter 4, verse 43. Then Zerubbabel said to the king, Remember the vow you swore on the day you received your kingdom to rebuild Jerusalem, and to send back all the vessels taken from Jerusalem, and the ones Cyrus removed when he vowed to destroy Babylon, and vowed to send them back there. You also vowed to rebuild the temple which the Edomites set on fire when Judea was laid laid waste by the Chaldeans. Now this is what I consider worthy of you, O Lord our King, and at what I ask of you, for this befits your greatness. Therefore I beg of you that you keep the vow you vowed to the King of Heaven from your own mouth. Then King Darius arose and kissed him. He wrote letters for him to all the treasurers, governors, commanders, and satraps that They help him on his way, and everyone going up with him to rebuild Jerusalem. He also wrote letters to all the governors in Kul, Syria, and Phoenicia, and to those in Lebanon to transfer cedar logs from Lebanon to Jerusalem to help him rebuild the city. Then he wrote to all the Jews who went up from his kingdom to Judea in behalf of their freedom, that no power, satrap, commander, or treasurer was to come against their doors, that all the territory they ruled was to be theirs without subject subjection to taxes, that the Edomites were to hand over to the Jews the villages they had seized, that twenty talents were to be given every year for the building of the temple until it was completed, and ten talents every year for the whole burnt offerings to be offered each day on the altar according to the commandment to make seventeen offerings, and that all those from Babylon who went up to build the city were to have their freedom, and the people and their children, and all the priests who went up with them. He also wrote that they were to pay the expenses for the priestly vestments in which they served. He likewise wrote that they were to pay the Levites' expenses until the temple was completed and Jerusalem rebuilt. Also, for all who guarded the city, he wrote that they were to be given lands and wages. Then he sent forth from Babylon all the vessels Cyrus had removed and everything Cyrus said to do. He also commanded to be done. And he sent forth... And he sent them forth to Jerusalem. Now when the young man went out, he lifted his face to heaven toward Jerusalem and blessed the king of heaven, saying, The victory and the wisdom are from you. The glory is yours, and I am your servant. Blessed are you who granted me wisdom, and I give thanks to you, O Lord of our fathers. So he took the letters and went to Babylon and reported everything to all his brothers. They, too, blessed the God of their fathers because he had granted them freedom and released and release from captivity to go up and rebuild Jerusalem and the temple called by his name. Then they feasted with music and gladness for seven days. First book of Ezra, chapter 5. After this, the heads of the paternal houses were chosen according to their tribes to go up, along with their wives, sons, and daughters, and their male and female servants, and their cattle. Darius also sent along 1,000 cavalry with them to bring them back to Jerusalem in peace and with the music of drums and flutes. All their kindred were dancing, for Darius arranged for them to go up with them as well. These are the names of the men who were the governors and who went up according to their paternal houses in the tribes. The priests, the sons of Phinehas, the son of Aaron, Jeshua, the son of Josadak, the son of Sariah, and Joachim, the son of Zerubbabel, the sons of Sheltiel, of the house of David, from the family of fairies of the tribe of Judah. Zerubbabel was the one who spoke wise words before Darius, the king of the Persians, in the second year of his reign, in the month of Nisan, the first month. They are the ones from Judea who went up from their surgeon in captivity and whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, resettled in Babylon. They returned to Jerusalem and the rest of Judea, each to his own city. They came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, 
Azariah, Rahamiah, Nahamine, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpareth, Bigviah, Hehum, and Bahna, their leaders. The number of those from the nation, including their leaders, were the sons of Parosh, 2,172. The sons of Shephatiah, 472. The sons of Ara, 756. The sons of Pehath Moab, of the sons of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812. The sons of Elam, 1,254. The sons of Zatu, 945. The sons of Chorbi, 705. The sons of Bani, 648. The sons of Bebiah, 623. The sons of Asgad, 1,322, the sons of Adonikam, 667, the sons of Bigviah, 2,066, the sons of Aden, Aden, 454, the sons of Atir of Hezekiah, 92, the sons of Kilan and Aztas, 67, the sons of Azaru, 432, the sons of Aeneas, 101. The sons of Aram and the sons of Beziah, 323. The sons of Harif, 112. The sons of Beterus, 3005. The sons of Beth Beth Loman, 123. Those from Netophah were 55. Those from Anatoth, 158. Those from Beth Azmeveth, 42, those from Kurjath Jerim, 25, those from Chephariah and Beeroth, 743, the Chadisans and Amidians, 422, those from Kurama and Geba, 621, those from Makalon, 122, those from Betolio, 52, the sons of Nephish, 156, the sons of the other Kalumalas and Ono, 725, the sons of Jerichus, 345, the sons of Sena, 3,330, the number of the priests were the sons of Jediah, the son of Jeshua, the sons of Anasib, 900, 72. The sons of Immer, 1,052. The sons of Pash Hur, 1,247. The sons of Kar Sharmi, 1,017. The Levites, the sons of Joshua and Kadamiel and Banes and Sudius, 74. The number of the temple singers were the sons of Asaph. 128. The number of the gatekeepers were the sons of Shalom, the sons of Atir, the sons of Talmon, the sons of Akkub, the sons of Hattiah, the sons of Shobiah, in all 139. The number of the temple servants were the sons of Esau, the sons of Hashshupua, the sons of Tabaoth, the sons of Keros, the sons of Sua, the sons of Padon, the sons of Lebniah. Lebanna, the sons of Hagabah, the sons of Akub, the sons of Utiah, the sons of Ketab, the sons of Hagab, the sons of Subiah, the sons of Hanan, Hena, the sons of Kathua, the sons of Gedur, the sons of Jarius, the sons of Dasan, the sons of Noba, the sons of Chezib, the sons of Gazara, the sons of Uza, the sons of Phino, the sons of Hashra, the sons of Baththiah, the sons of Asna, the sons of Maniah, the sons of Nephism, the sons of Akuf, the sons of Hakupa, the sons of Asur, the sons of Parakim, the sons of Basluth, the sons of Mehida, the sons of Kuth, the sons of Sharia, the sons of Barkus, the sons of Sarar, the sons of Tema, the sons of Nezaiah, the sons of Hatipha. The sons of the servants of Solomon, the sons of Asaphath, the sons of Peruda, the sons of Jahela, the sons of Lozun, the sons of Isdael, the sons of Shephatiah, the sons of Agia, the sons of Pokchereth, Hazabayim, the sons of Serothiah, 
the sons of Messiah, the sons of Gas, the sons of Adus, the sons of Subas, the sons of Arphera, the sons of Baradus, the sons of Shaphat, the sons of Alon, all the temple servants and the sons of the servants of Solomon were 372. Those who come up from Thermeleth and Thelertha, led by Cherath, Adan, Adan, and Amar, were unable to tell of their lineage and generation as to how they were from Israel. They were the sons of Deliah, the sons of Tobiah, and the sons of Nekoda, and their number was 652. The priests who laid claim to the priesthood but were not found in the register were the sons of Habaiah, the sons of Hazhak, Cause and the sons of Jadis, who married Agia, one of the daughters of Bara, Barzilla Aya, and was called by his name. So when a search, so when a search into the lineage of these men was made into in the register and nothing was found, they were removed from the list to perform priestly service. Nehemiah and Atharas said they were not to partake in the holy things until a high priest arose wearing the Urim and the Thummim. All those from Israel from 12 years of age and older, apart from the male and female servants, were 42,360. Their male and female servants were 7,337. Cantors and musicians were 245. There were 435 camels, 7,036 horses, 245 mules, and 5,525 donkeys. Some of the heads of the paternal houses in Israel arrived at the temple of God in Jerusalem and vowed to the best of their ability to rebuild the house on its site and to give to the temple treasury for its works 1,000 minas of gold, 5,000 minas of silver, and 100 priestly vestments. The priests, the Levites, and some of the people decided to live in Jerusalem while the temple singers and doorkeepers settled in the countryside with all Israel in their villages. Psalms 134, verse 1. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. O you servants, praise the Lord. You who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of your of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing to his name, for it is good. For the Lord chose Jacob for himself, Israel for his special treasure. For I know the Lord is great, and our Lord is above all the gods. All things whatsoever the Lord willed, he did in heaven and on earth, on the earth, in the seas and in all deep places, bringing clouds from the furthest part of the earth. He made lightning for the rain, bringing winds from his storehouses. He struck the firstborn of Egypt from man to cattle. He sent forth signs and wonders in your midst, O Egypt, among Pharaoh and all his servants. He struck many nations and destroyed mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. And he gave their land as an inheritance, an inheritance for Israel, his people. The Gospel according to John, chapter 20. Now the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. Then she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter therefore went out and the other disciple and were going to the tomb. So they both ran together, and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen cloths lying there, yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb, and he saw the linen cloth cloths lying there, and the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who came to the tomb first went in also, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again to their own homes. But Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to her, Women, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she 
had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabbani, which is to say, Teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to her. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father had has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the prints of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here, and look at my hands, and reach your hand here, and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen me and yet have believed. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Thank you for joining me on day 164 of the Orthodox Study Bible in One Year podcast. And as I've had in previous days and episodes, please forgive me if and if, uh, if I did pronounce the Old Testament nouns and incorrectly. So please forgive me and tune in next time for day 165.